What's going on guys? So in this project, we're going to be building a landing page that has a CSS on the hamburger menu. I'm sure most of you know what a hamburger menu is. They are these menus that have three lines, kind of looks like a hamburger, and you click it and then some kind of menu opens. In our case, a side menu. We start right now. All right, let's create our project really from scratch. Okay, let's start by creating our folder in our desktop. Let's call sidebar menu, use HTML and CSS. Now let's open it here, okay? And let's create our structure. First of all, let's create our HTML. Okay, let's call that index. Remember to save in the folder we just create. Uh, click save. Now let's create our second file. This one is gonna be style.css, okay? Remember to save in the same folder. Now let's close this one and let's create our structure, HTML structure. For Forge Awesome, let's copy the kit because you're gonna be using some icons, okay? One more thing we need to use is this link that's gonna connect our CSS to our HTML structure. For the title, let's say side menu bar CSS. Okay. Now let's move to the body. First of all, let me close this one because it's no longer necessary. And let me open the project. Let's do some coding on the left and watch the results on the right. We're gonna create this div sidebar. Inside this one, we're gonna have this header. Let's call this one my app. And let's also create an UL, another list, okay? And inside this one, the list itself, li. The list is, is gonna have a link pointing to nowhere. The icons for Front Awesome, okay? This one, for example, let's change this to Facebook QR code and a text, in this case, dashboard. Let me copy this one and paste here. All we have to do here is change the class. This one here is gonna be a link and for the text, let's say shortcuts. Okay, let me copy this one again, paste. And this one, let's call stream, okay? And for the text overview. Let's go to the next one. This one is gonna be our FA calendar week. And for the text, let's say events, okay? All right. Let's move to the next one. Let's create one more. This one question minus circle. For the text, let's put type about, okay? Let's have one more. This one, let me change the class here. Let's say FA sliders H. And for the text, services. And now let's move to the last one, okay? This one is gonna be FR envelope. And for the text, let's say contact. Our HTML structure is almost done. Now let's create our last part of it. Let's create a div called section. And that's it. Alright, let's start with our CSS reset, margin and padding zero, list size is gonna be none, and text decoration also none, okay? Now let's type our body and use our fonts, okay? Roboto and Sans Serif. Let's move on and let's type our sidebar. Let's give it a position. Let's give a left, it's gonna be zero with 250 pixels, height 100%, and then let's also choose a background color, okay? Let's choose this one, looks nice. Now let's 
uh, grab the header itself okay this text here let's give it a font size of 22 pixels let's make it right let's put that in the center okay and also let's set up a, a line height of several pixels okay let's choose a different background color it's gonna it's gonna make our project more beautiful okay also select is gonna be none now let's grab our links itself, okay? Side by UL A. Display is gonna be a block. Let's give it a height of 100% with 100% of its parent. Line height of six, five pixels. Okay, font size, let's make it bigger with two, 20 pixels. Let's make the right. Let's give a, a padding left of 40 pixels box size in border box and also let's give it a border top okay one pixel sort RGBA is gonna be black and transparent dot one okay also a, a border bottom of one pixel and this time it's gonna be black now let's give it some animation okay let's give it a hover effect the padding is gonna change from 40 to 50 pixels once you hover over this one it's horrible so let's give it some transition so transition is gonna be 4.4 seconds okay so let me test now it's much better now okay now let's move to our links our, our icons itself let's move to our icons itself margin right is gonna be is gonna give some space in between the icons and the, our text okay let's move to our HTML and let's create our our input checkbox it's gonna give functionality to our hamburger menu ID is gonna be check so you can grab this later on our CSS label for check okay in this one we're gonna have some icons from front awesome this one is gonna be bars and let's give it the idea of btn okay so you can grab it later on our css this one is going to be times and let's call the id cancel okay as you can see you can see it here so that's not a good idea so let me get rid of this let's grab the check and display none so it's no more visible okay All right, now let's start our label BTN and our label cancel, okay? And let's give a position as absolute and cursor pointer, okay? Let me give you some space here so you can see the code here on the left. Let me copy this one, label button. This is what we're gonna grab now left is going to be 40 pixels top 25 pixels and font size let's make it a little bigger okay 35 pixels let's give it some color it's going to be white okay and let's change this left here to minus 250 so you can see the the bottoms okay i make it red and see when i make it right it's invisible Let's give it a background that's that's gonna fit our project. Body rate is gonna be three pixels. Make the corner a little bit round, okay? Let's also give it some padding. Six pixels bottom and top and bottom. Twelve pixels left and right. Let me copy this one. And this time let's start our cancel, okay? Let's give it a, a very high Z index, left position of 195 pixels, okay, and top 17 pixels. Let's also give a font size of 30, 30 pixels, and the color that's gonna fit our project, okay. 
pedem 4 pixels top and bottom, 9 pixels left and right. As you can see, it's a little bigger. You can see much better now. And now let's use a pseudo class uh, checked, meaning it's checked. What's gonna happen when this is checked, okay? Let's target our sidebar. It's gonna go to the left position of zero, okay? Let me go back to here to the sidebar and add some transition. All dot five seconds is okay. Let me copy this one and now let's target our label button. Okay, left is gonna be 250. Let's give our pass of zero and point events of none. Alright, now as always, let's give it some transition. You know, you know that without this transition, the effect is horrible. Okay, let me copy this one and now let's target our cancel. Let's give it a left uh, of 195 pixels. Alright, as you can see, it's working but it requires some transition. So let's create this one, all about five seconds, easy, okay? Now let's go to our section and change background. URL, let's choose our background. You're gonna have the link down, down below in this, the video description, okay? So you can download this one. Background size is gonna be cover, height is gonna be 100 VH or viewport, or you can see in the browser, okay? Now let's start it, okay? Our section, and let's give it a margin left of 250 pixels, all right? And of course, as always, give it some transition. All right, we just did it together. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and also click the bell so you don't miss our weekly videos. See you in our next video.